it's okay to sit and stare into space. And fill the emptiness, hear the quiet, see some plain old nothing. It's okay to be alone and it's okay to have nothing to do. It's okay to just sit there and think. It's okay not to have a plan. It's okay to be with that surrounding activity and feel like time is standing still around you. It's okay to turn off the phone. It's okay to unplug the TV and the computer. It's okay to have an empty mailbox. Life isn't about things. We all know this, but it sure feels uncomfortable when these things are not there. So somehow, even though we know it's not about things, we still find ways to make it such. Why? Because we don't want to face the real reason we're constantly filling our life with things, we're trying to fill the void. So what's the void? Underneath the layers that vary from person to person, is one common void that we all share, the need for Jesus Christ. The need for a true, intimate, abiding relationship with Him. The need for union with our loving Creator. We will keep on trying to fill that void with anything and everything the world has to offer, and nothing will sustain us for long. Nothing will really heal us. Nothing will truly help us in the long run. Only Jesus. The void that we all have is like a pothole on a road that some lazy city worker keeps trying to fill with ketchup instead of concrete. The world tries to fill up your void with ketchup, but Jesus is the concrete. He's the rock of ages and he never changes. So it's okay to face the void. It's okay to eliminate all the distractions of your old life, and face the fact that you've gone long enough without Jesus. Ask him to come in. He's there at the door of your heart waiting for you. He never barges in uninvited. He gives us the choice to open the door. Can you not see or feel the void? then get rid of distractions on your own. The quieter things become, the better. Feel some discomfort. Get awkward with yourself. Expose yourself to the weirdness of nothing. Jesus is calling. Take down distracting things off your walls, donate your music collection, get rid of clothes that promote bands and labels and logos. You were not born into this world to be a walking billboard for someone else's business. God wants to prosper you, in time. Seek Him first, and see what happens. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6 33